honest, what I'm worried about with you tagging along, you know, are you going to become a hindrance? Just a second. Am I... No, don't want to get this straight from the start. Am I tagging? Tagging along feels like you're slightly doing this under duress and I... You've well, I don't, I don't know why we're doing this. Tagging, no, it's not tagging along. We are going on a trip together. And I'm charged with opening your eyes to some... to the way the world really is. But what, why? What, where, I, I'm, I'm more travelled and more experienced. Yeah, but you're small-minded. Well, Ricky sold it to me as I might get in the world record books for going round with you. What's the record? There's, there, you can't say there's a record for going around the world with a dwarf. That's not... There's, that's... There isn't one, I've looked. There isn't one, so, so we can make one. It, that's ridiculous. Well, what are you saying, then? You go around the world, you don't rush, you don't dawdle, but you take in the sight. So when we go round and we come back, we are full of culture and knowledge, and we've brought something away from it. We've not just got jet lag and a tropical disease. I know, but it's just funny hearing you talk like this, because I probably had that attitude at the beginning, and when you do it, you're shitting yourself to death, you've got a temperature, you're having a bollock for lunch, you know, from some animal you've never heard of, I doubt you'll be saying, oh, yes, I'm loving the culture. You'll be pissed off. <laughs> This is the sort of book we want, look, the travel book. A journey through every country in the world. Yeah. Looks amazing. How There's long... a glacier there. How long do you think the longest cat is? The longest cat in the world. I can't even believe I'm thinking about this. Uh, I, I know, it's six foot. 123 centimetres. Right. What are you in centimetres? Um, about 105, I think. So this cat is longer than you. That's a domestic cat. That's amazing. Carl, look at some of these sites. I'm looking at a cat here that's playing a piano. You're showing me an old rock. This is what I'm talking about. You just got such a blinkered view of everything. He hasn't got a clue. He actually thinks it is. It's gonna. Carl, can you just help us with these books? I need to put them back. That's all I'm gonna be doing. I'm a helper. Do you keep wandering off? Are you gonna keep doing this when we're on our trip? Well, we just keep bickering. This is hard work, this is, isn't it? You see, he's negative in everything. Everything I say, he wants to find a fault in it. Um, I, I don't think I've ever met anybody with such a... such an outlook. I'm not good around enthusiastic people. If family's like me, we don't get enthusiastic about anything. We always expect the worst. So that when it happens, we know how to deal with it. How's he going to deal with it? You're not going to deal with it. I've got kids at home. I'm trying to think how I enthuse them about things. I normally bribe them sweets or something. Maybe that works for Carl. I don't know. See, that's why that bloke cut the rope in it and touching the void. He had someone like him. Look at the mountain. It's another one. We've seen him. We'll cut it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just none the wiser as to what I was meant to get out of today with Warwick. Hey, what have they got in these to start with? They feel heavy. What do you mean? I went into the camping shop and he said, oh, carry this bag for me. Get me that off that shelf, won't you? Well, he, he just kept giving me signs that... Walking around for hours. <laughs> he won't be able to do stuff himself. I said to him, I said, I don't want you being a hindrance to me. Yeah, but I don't want to be lugging your stuff about. I'm looking after my own stuff. <laughs> well, exactly. So why have you sorted him out for me? <laughs> it's a bit long, isn't it? He put wellies on. He had to tuck his bollocks in. There's nothing that's a standard fit that fits him, which means he's going to be saying, oh, me, me wellies are chafing. Not his ankles, his fucking ball sack. 
So I don't know, I don't know. And I told him, if he goes down for whatever reason and he needs me help, I've got to drag him. Now, what I did was... <laughs> you're talking about it like you're in Vietnam. He's not going to go down, is he? I asked him to get in a rucksack in case he did go down, and he wasn't happy about that. I don't think I'll ever feel the need to get in the backpack. Honestly? Honestly. I don't know why he's not happy. I'm the one carrying him. I'm not getting in the backpack. Not getting in the backpack. Not getting in the backpack. It's not funny, really. If we're in the middle of nowhere... Yeah. ..and we have to... You know, he's talking about seeing orangutans. Now, I don't know how they act around someone of his size. <laughs> I don't know what, whether they're just seen black and white, and to him, he's one of them. <laughs> I, d I don't know, I, honestly, I don't know. But, but why him? What's, what's the reason for taking him? What's he bringing to the party here? Um, I, I thought it would be friendly.